with Paul. He's got to test this model. What's the model called, Paul? PTSG1. And we're going to test this to distraction on the uniform external pressure. Mm -hmm. Now, Paul's going to show you the closure plates, which he's going to put at the end of this model to block them off and seal it off. This that Paul's going to use. Right, Paul, put the closure plates on. I was going to put the model in the tank. And that's the model in the tank. Pull the water into the test tank. This is the closure plate with the o ring. Paul's going to put that on the top of the test tank. Go on then. Paul's putting the bolts in now to seal the tank top. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to pump the air through it so that we don't compress air. Off you go then. There it is. Start pumping. Take your finger off. Away. As it's bottle clamped at 375 psi and the pressure fell down to 180. 180 psi and told Paul to show the buckle. Good inside, it was completely, completely dry. PTS C1. This is a carbon fiber model, similar dimensions to the previous one, but much higher end of modulus. It's collapsed at a high pressure. 350. Keep going. Split brakes. 425. Split brakes. 500. 525 R. Keep going. 5, 650, going down. Keep going, keep going. 725. 800. Just under 900. 975. So, putting the high pressure. Bump on. 1200. Okay. 1300. 1400. Keep reading it. Uh, just over 1400. Oh. Off you go. Just taking the top off. And now he's going to get the model out. We don't need the carbon model. The longest of our carbon model. Off, off you go, Paul. I'm going to turn it round. You see the crack in here? Oh, the right dent there. Mm -hmm. That's great. There you can see the backlink delamination of that model. The two models we tested. Turn it down a bit, Paul. The glass one's on the right, and the carbon on the left.